Hello, Monsters of Anahir, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 7 of my Astrogoth campaign for supporters. That's why for, for the YouTube, it was easy when it was just Patreon supporters, because I said Patreon supporters, but I need to get YouTube members as well, but that doesn't really work with the Patreon support. Well, it does work, but it, it's, 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 hard to, it's harder to do anyway. So basically, I've made a rod for my own back, as per usual, in my sordid YouTube existence. Anyway, last time we 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 fought Kislev and we've managed to push deep in we, we've penetrated Kislev but they're now sort of consuming us. They've got they've got like a little a little semicircle of Kislev armies here. And I get the feeling that they really want to throw all of them at the same time at me. Which is why poor Rockefeller and Sir have are huddled together in the middle of this forest. Um, good luck to them, basically. Meanwhile, Valkyria is, I want to say expanding, but basically I've done all the work for her and then just given her the, the, the juicy rewards because I don't want them. I'm quite happy over here. Look at this. I've got 4,000 raw materials. Four, four, okay, that's not as good. I should really go through. Oh, that's right, because we confederated this guy, didn't we? That's right. Uh, that wants to be a factory. How much money do we have? Ah, reasonable amounts. We could always do with more. Okay, we'll upgrade you. Uh, we're at war down here as well. And here. And this is kind of fine. We could go with more cash there. We have the raw materials to do that, so let's go with that. We've got the special building, the volcanic deposits. You know me, love a volcanic deposit. And I think this is probably... How many waste are we going to turn into... To resources. This was going to be factory, so we want more money there. Uh, we were doing a bunch of stuff there. We can upgrade you. Uh, we want war with Grimgore as well. Oh, there's Grimgore. Hello, Grimgore. He's, uh. Is this us? That's five rat rock spiders, Grimgore. <laughs> ah, good. Right, you're going to get bowl that one. Right, Gorf, are you are you feeling are you feeling feisty enough to take on Grimgore? You are. Okay. Good. Good. Well, hopefully this will catch some of them. Eh, well, you know, maybe. Maybe. We've currently got our fire glaives sitting in the midst of this, like, oil pool, I guess. Do you think it's a good idea to have the Kadai Fireborn sitting on basically a pool of oil? I'm sure that's probably fine. I don't think industrial health and safety is necessarily the Chaos Dwarf's forte, is it? The boar boy's getting absolutely shredded by that fire glaive fire, but we've got yet more boar boys heading towards us. The Kadai swooping out to stop them from engaging. Not that the fire glaives... I mean, the fire glaives probably be fine, but still. We've got five Ratnarok spiders. We're going to have to take those out. The bull centaurs are dueling with some enemy cat. It's, it's a lot of Ratnarok spiders... And boar boys and squigs. Here comes yet more Ratnarok spiders, just in case, you know, we didn't didn't have enough Ratnarok spiders. Just in case we thought, oh, what I could really do with now is an Ratnarok spider coming straight towards my face. We've managed to take out the rock lobbers with the Kadai summoned in, which is very, very useful. And looks like Morgul's mangy marauders making a, a break for it through our lines getting tied up by the Kadai, and then just proving themselves that they're just going to get shot to pieces by the Fire Glaze. We need to take out those uh, Ranrock Spiders with with the Fire Glaze, though, because they're probably the best option. Along with Grimgor as well. Now, thankfully, Grimgor apparently got lost. I don't know what he was up to, but he kind of got a little bit lost. And uh, so he's, like, trailing behind the rest of his army, which is good, because it means that we can, we can deal with his army first, then deal with Grimgor. Grimgor's basically an army all by himself. Spiders being picked off one by one. 
the fire glaives can really just take a spider apart. They do they do so much armor piercing damage. A few volleys, and yep, yeah, there we go. Saving the Infernal Guard there. Rather than now, we, we could fight Grimgore, but frankly, that's just a silly thing to do. Because he he will he will completely destroy anyone he gets his hands on. So rather than do that, we're just going to run away from him and shoot him with everything else we've got. Look at this little this little goblin boy like nope. That's right, hell cannons, flammable. The guns. Grimgore is fairly susceptible to missile fire. He still he, he still doesn't go down very quickly, and he's also a small Oh that was unfortunate. You should have moved faster, mate. Grimgore, come on. Finish him. Kill him. Kill him. Though he's so angry he won't die. Oh, thank God. Jesus. <sighs> I mm, well that was that was pretty that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, wasn't it? That was alright. Took out Grimgore. This is good. It's all good. I think right, we're gonna go and retake Demon Stump. Because we took so little damage from Grimgore. Let's go first for magic. Firing drills, yes. Yes. After after playing Kislev, the blunderbusses and the um and the fire glaze feel like ludicrously powerful. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the Streltsy are good. All right, we need to we need to we need to try and pick off some of these armies because there's too many of them and too many of them are really nice. Like little Groms are brutal. In the same way that I feel like the, the Chaos Dwarf artillery for the most part isn't. Like little Groms seem to do. Like, I mean, the magma cannons are pretty good, but the Death Street rocket are still just not. It's accuracy and it's. It's like spread, I guess. It's just not. It's just not there. Let's get Ash Storm. Uh, so last time we had a poll, and the poll was, we, we want to get all of the the major relics, but should should the Valea relic be the the corrupted salve, or should it be the heat? Now, I, I I figured that it was definitely going to be the healing salve, but apparently not. It's, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use it for the drill, which means we're going to take this thingy. Was it this thingy? Was it this one? I mean, both of these are. Fun. I mean, the ward saved the entire army. Is all right. They're fine. I mean, we probably want all of them, right? We probably want all of them. Now, where is Astro? Oh, he's fucking miles away, isn't he? Oof. It's a long old, long old trek back home. In it. At least we got, at least we got some money. Right, we beat up the dwarves. We're continuing to beat up the dwarves. Do I want to go for this? The pillars of Grungi is their capital. I feel like if we go for their capital, we should be able to bomb them in both places. Of course they are. Of course they are. I think we, I think we go for this one and then mess this up. If we take this out, they won't be able to recruit too many nasty things. That's that's the plan, anyway. Because I don't, I don't want them recruiting slayers. I don't like them. I'm anti-slayer. Well, I've come out and said it. Come out and say. At least you know, as the dwarves, you can now recruit them. You get they can like summon them, can't you? Which makes more sense. 
Because I always feel like the ability, like, the AI doesn't care about losing units, but the player does. And there's nothing worse than the AI using a shit ton of units that it can, it can just sacrifice to do as much damage as possible to you. I think that's the problem. You kind of have this... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It, not the same on both sides? What's that? Oh, fuck, there's a word for it. But I, either way, basically the AI is not playing the same game as you. And that is... I mean, it's not necessarily a problem, but when when there's certain when there's units built in a certain way for example the slayers the idea being that they're unbreakable and they're kind of sacrificial i mean in theory like that's a good idea but if you need to stop your army every turn to recruit more of the fuckers because the ai is like pumping out armies like there's no tomorrow then you're going to have a problem aren't you Because if their entire thing is that sacrificial nature, unless you can recruit them really easily or they come back to life or whatever, you're not going to want to sacrifice them. Uh, if we continue the siege, we pop you in here. Crikey indeed. Okay, we'll grab that. Uh, I wouldn't mind a cannon. Everywhere should have cannons. This is probably going to be a factory zone. So we'll turn this into factories. We'll turn this into factories. More money. Yes, all that kind of good stuff. Fantastic. Right. And I guess maybe that one? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Zartan, you can be a mentor because more experience across the board is good. And you can have... That's recruitment cost, isn't it? Which isn't really that useful. Alerts. Meh, don't really care about that. Income for... I mean, we don't really sack many settlements because... And again, because while, while you can... Realistically, it just gives the AI time to recruit more stuff to then throw multiple stacks at you and overwhelm you. That's 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 kind of what doing. So, if you're sacking something, it's not as good as just taking it and continue on, continuing on through your territory through their territory. Ideally, you just want to make sure that that faction's dead, because otherwise, they'll never stop trying to kill you. You never, you, like, don't even get a little bit of respite, do you? Okay, we've still got that problem down there, but that's fine. With any luck, we can just auto-resolve this. Yes, lovely. Lovely. Uh, this is going to be a factory. Is it going to be a factory? Or did I... No, it was going to be a... Fuck. I wish you could see the other parts of the province before, because I, I can never remember. I can never fucking remember which, which settlement is supposed to be which. Right, we've pushed Grimgore back into the mountains, which is good. Astrogoth is going to continue his little his little march. Yes, that makes sense. Now, where do we need to go? It's like... Uh, 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 that, right, that one. Uh, we go there. Right. All, right. all the way into the mountains. So, the best route for that is probably a mixture of underway and marching. Until we get to the mountains, we may as well march. So if we do that, it's still going to take us a little while to get over there. However, that might give us time to sort of lock this shit down. Hello. I don't want him retreating back across the bridge. So if I maybe... We come in here and then attack from this direction. It should make him retreat. Oh, no, he, he wants to fight. All right, well, I'm just going to bop you. Let's just bop you. I don't know where those other armies have gone. That's the only thing. Right, we can kill you. 
Boop. Okay, and then we can come down here. Just in case. So, like, defend this a little bit. I'm hoping that Valkyria is getting shit done. It does look like she's actually got some armies now. This is good. And Ted... Ted is le Ted's le he's, he's captured Hellpit. That's fantastic. Although Catherine's Catherine is on her way because that be, that could be that could be potentially bad. What armor do you have? A crystal cloak. Oh yeah, I thought that was a uh, talisman. That's one thing. I think you'll find a cloak's armor monster. Well, well could, could have been either to be honest. I'm fairly sure there's some like cloaks and shit that are talismans. So there. So Topham Hats, what are you, you're going to be, yeah, firing drills, I think. Nope, because you're literally hobgob, well, no, firing drills works for hobgoblins, right? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? It does, yeah, so that's fine. Good, yep, so that was entirely planned. I know what I'm doing. I am a trained, profe untrained professional. I am untrained. There we go. Oh god, I need to get that mod where you can... I mean, I could automatically assign skill points, I just don't trust it. After a certain point, you get... I genuinely think you get to the point where it's like, I don't, I don't care about the skill points you have, to be honest. You should, you should be able to set them up in a certain way, shouldn't you? Like, this guy's an agent, this guy is a, you know... Is a character in an army. He's going to be an army character, so therefore, do this, this, this. I need to. I need to try out that mod. Okay, Scrag is going for. Like, look, we've got we've got allies. They're actually doing stuff. This is great. Might actually keep people busy. You're at war with. Princess hmm. Herald. Are you guys getting on? Or oh, you guys do get on? You fight the wars. I'll collect the souls. Okay, that feels like a lot of me doing the heavy lifting. You know how to please me. It's the first time I've ever heard that. You dare. Oracles, are you friends with Kugath? Yes, of course you are. Did you? It's, it's weird that Nurgle and Zint should be butting heads, but most of the time they're actually firm friends because everyone else is trying to kill them. Also weird that the Nurgle like skill tree has a has a skill specifically for dealing with Zinch, whereas in the Realm of Chaos, they're almost always going to be friends. And then in Immortal Empires, they're nowhere fucking near each other. Now, I have heard from the devs that they're fully aware that the the Kugath tech tree is is very very uh, realm of chaos centric. So I'm hoping at some point they'll actually fix it. Because it does need to be fixed. God, I need to up. I need my factories upgraded, don't I? Are all these upgraded? They're all upgraded, and we could do that. Oh, don't you have the? Uh... Okay, we can we can grab that one. Uh, more defenses seems like you know vaguely sensible. I'll go for Temple of Hasher. It's not really going to help me at all. What's in fact, it it genuinely isn't going to help me at all, is it? What does it do? Conclave influence gain. Don't really care. I mean, power reserve capacity is fine, but that's basically it. It's just, it's just extra power. I mean, if I wanted, like, upgraded lords, I could go for this one, because that then gives a uh, hero and lord recruit rank plus two. I do, I do think, like, level five buildings that do give faction-wide bonuses are a good thing. Because that gives you an actual reason to, like, plan out your buildings a little bit more. So, I genuinely think the Chaos Dwarves are the, the best, the best DLC they've ever done. I think it's, it's a really good DLC. They've worked really hard on it. It really does show. And I, I can only give, like, huge kudos 
to the developers for for churning out something which is is just great. I mean, I will I will say like I, I will compare Warhammer with I should say Creative Assembly with Paradox because they kind of have the same sort of DLC. Like they have long, almost almost like what's the what's the word the living living world games where you do have like that, that constant like DLC pipeline. But I think generally Creative Assembly have better DLCs than Paradox. And I think Chaos Dwarves is a high point. I, I think the DLCs from Paradox are fine, but I think the Creative Assembly ones are better. Okay, we've still got... Still got Kislev to deal with. Need to knock out those dwarves. As soon as possible. Before they start recruiting more stuff. Mind you, you can recruit gyrocopters and potentially cannons, thunderers, iron drake. Okay, well, you can still recruit a whole bunch of really nasty shit. But no front line. Interesting. Interesting. I want a cannon here. What do I do? I need a cannon. Do I need a cannon? And also, do is it? Where is the other relic? Where's this relic? This is at Karakazorn. Yes, yeah, so it's right there. Mm, interesting. Okay, we're going to head in this direction. Uh oh. Do we have enough money to get another army? We do. In that case, let's get another army. Let's get impulsive. No, nope. superior. Mm. Needful. He's got a need. Oh, that's adorable. Do I want an overseer? We don't have many overseers, do we? I rate. Weapon strength and charge bonus. Mm, don't really know if that's going to be that useful. Death and destruction. Cool down all spells. Leadership when fighting a whole bunch of stuff, which I don't really care about. You're level 18. What skills what skills do you have? Okay, bunch of spells. More ammunition for some reason, even though you fire that fucking flare gun. But yeah, I, I know it I know it increases damage to fuck, but you know, if if I was if I was in command of shit, why why would I want the flare gun? I, I want I would want the biggest gun you had. I wouldn't want some shitty little little fucking firework. Give me the big guns, baby. Let's grab something like that. Right, we need to deal with... And we'll probably get spotted. But we're heading this direction to try and hunt down this guy. Ooh, did Ka either Katarin died, or or retreated. I kind of want to play Ted again. I, w I would like to play, even though I know Nurgle. I mean, maybe I can find some. Not that one. I want that one. No, Contr I want control. Is that control? That is control. Oh, no, in that case, I'll keep that one. This one, I don't really know. I'm probably going to give that to someone else. So, I don't really care. Oh, convoy dispatch. Yeah, I should probably dispatch a convoy, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll add you. And we want somewhere like that one. That one's fine. We can send you over. The, how, wait, how much um, conclave influence do we have? We don't have any money. That's the problem. Uh, I can send you to the Volary. Is there anyone accepting armaments? Okay, I'll have to wait. Oh, we've got enough. So I could just do this. Boop. Boop. Bosh. Jobs are, jobs are good, eh? Sorted. So. 
We're actually not hemorrhaging money, which is weird. That is a bit weird. Uh, the haunted forest is apparently just a mine? Is that a minor settlement on its own? That's weird. What a weird... What a weird thing to do. Like, it's not even a magical forest. It's a, it's a temperate. What the f- Why? What? What are you guys doing? That's weird. Hello. Why am I at war with you? I don't even know who you are. The sacred host of Tepok. Oh, you're the rogue army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yes, yes, that's fine. All right, I'll allow that. Wow, Drazhoth, your armies are absolute shit. And I say that as a friend, but they are hot garbage. Hot, hot garbage. Okay, let us make this into a factory because we do have the Blackwater Sluice Gates. Which kind of makes sense. Uh, armaments are still looking pretty good. We don't need that. What's this? The Infernal Barracks. Oh, good. Infernal Castlians, who I think are also hot garbage. Hot, hot garbage. And I know what hot garbage smells like. Right, we don't need these buildings, so they can get rid of that. Oh, God. Okay, let's... Let's converge. Let's converge, shall we? Because then we might be able to, like, put together a semi-decent army out of all this absolute useless bollocks. I don't know. You try so hard, don't you? Okay, you get control. You get control. Who else? You get... Higher quotas. You, I genuinely don't know why I'm bothering. Control, I guess. Sure. Right. Okay, how much money are we making? Not a huge amount. Not enough really to support another army. So I'm going to cancel that and get rid of you. I'm sure we'll be fine. Absolute worst case. Everyone dies. That's, that's worst case. That is worst case. Hikari. What's up? Defensive alliance. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, I'm not really that bothered. What? Uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, that. That's going to make Astrogoths. Astro. Oh, hello. We got the ambush. Okay. That's probably good. That is good. Like, the, the whole gold tooth thing is going to make Astrogoths march through the mountains decidedly perilous, but I'm sure you'll be fine. One thing I will say for Warhammer 3, it's it was definitely a step up in the in the sort of background department, wasn't it? I mean, every single vista now you have at the back of a battlefield, like it's the scenery the battlefield takes place in is always like, ah, oh, just dialed up to 11. If you go back to Warhammer 1, look at it. It's mostly just some mountains in the distance, like grey mountains, that's what you got. But now you've got like these impressive silhouettes, these billowing clouds, like... It looks amazing. They've they've really got the hang of it, haven't they? I think they were a little bit. I, I don't think they've never they've never like made a fantasy game before, had they? So they, they they were being a little bit conservative, I think, and they've really they've really got into it. Anyway, it's an ambush, isn't it? So uh, green skin's lying all over the place. A little dreadquake coming in at the rear there. So far, so good. a case of mopping up the survivors really they've got more 
Green skins really do love the Arachnorok spiders, don't they? They seem to recruit a shit ton of them. A metric shit ton of Arachnorok spiders. So many Arachnorok spiders. Like, Jeez, guys, calm down. You don't need that many Arachnorok spiders. And it makes life a little bit easier for me, I guess, because, you know, shooting Arachnorok spiders is actually pretty easy. Once you've killed off the main army, you just concentrate all your guns on the big old spiders after tying them up with infernal guards. So while the rest of the army is now fleeing off, our infernal guards with the old file glaze there can open up and you can see just how much that, like one volley, was that like five of them? Five units, one volley, basically an Arachnorok spider dead. There we go. Thanks for the replenishment. Oh. Well. At least I didn't start recruiting stuff there. At least, at least that was a thing. Okay, you are going to be a problem. Oh, a problem I'm going to have to go and deal with. Which is vexing. I've also got gold tooth to worry about now. I mean, he was always potentially going to be an issue. Okay, you have that. And then you guys are fired. Yeah. Can I only trade units between one army? Is it because you don't have any movement left? I've got movement left. Okay, well, I'm firing all of you guys because you're fucking useless. And you guys. And you guys. And I'm going to be honest, this this army needs more blunderbusters in it. It's just a given. We've got 18 of 10. 18 of 10. How much are we got? We do have quite a lot of armaments, so we, we should be we should be fine. We've only got, how many fire glaives do we have? Um, okay, we've actually only got six. That might be the better option then. We get like four of them. Right, well, at least we're... At least we're we now have the requisite number. The bear, I don't, I don't, I, the destroyers, they're really bad. I don't, I don't like that they're bad, but they're absolute garbage. I don't know what it is about them, but they just, I, I think it's probably the, the whole unbreakable thing. Do they have the same as the, because they got banished, but they've also got the unbreakable until, oh hell, is it bound fire demon? Right, yeah. Yeah, so the problem is, and I don't know if you saw this in the other battle, but the, the Kadai, once they get below about 50% health, they have about 30 leadership. And the problem is that as soon as they dip below one leadership, they start taking damage. And when they start taking damage, they get sad. And then because they get sad, they take more damage. So basically, as soon as they hit 50%, they're a very high chance of just disintegrating. And it's kind of the same with the destroyers. Now, you can give the, um, them the unbreakable trait, and I think that does make the Kadai usable. But the destroyers, they, I, I don't know what it is about them, but they just seem to be very fragile. Like, more so than... I'm wondering if maybe it's because they've got such a big footprint. I don't know what it is, but they, they just... They don't seem to survive very long. Um, it's not ideal. If we do something like this, and then I can mull over the rest of my choices. I mean, to be honest... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oof. Oof. 
Okay, let's, let's have a look at Kislev. What's going on in Kislev? We might be able to... Are you going to come in as friend? Or are you too far away? I think you're too far away. I suspect you might run away. Yeah. That's fine. I, I do feel like retreating should have some repercussions. It doesn't seem to have anything. Like, it doesn't even use the movement from next turn. Okay, if we get to, like, here, we can hop over, hop over, then we're in Grimgore territory, hop over, march, probably, hop over... And uh, with any luck, Goldtooth isn't converging on Astrogoth as we speak. So, fingers crossed there. This... Okay, this place does, does have defences. i kind of say let's knock that down and get a big cannon. Because I do love me a big cannon. Okay, if we can knock these guys out, that will free up Zartan. He's gonna be free what he wants. Any old, just do what I want. Any old time. Okay, no more dwarfs. Uh, factory? Is it factory? Yes, it is factory. Aced it. Fucking, fucking aced it. Right, we upgrade all of this stuff. Uh, money, yes. We don't necessarily need defences here, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, this is all good. We get the higher quotas. Fantastic. Right, that, that, is, now, that is now on the go. We have so much raw, raw materials, we, we don't need to really worry about that. Oh, quit your screaming. Okay, so if, in fact, we've got got a metric shit ton of people i mean if if we were if we were hurting for money i could just uh, someone pointed out that you could just um if we just tick these right and then we can just come back and when we have lots of labor just sell it all sell the interns who the f fuck are you You must be Astragol Slimy, but you've got the Demon's Tongue and the Ice Forged Legion. Perfect. Okay, we'll move you this way. I really want to take out Karakazorn, so if maybe we can knock this out. And as long as we can keep these guys busy, I would, I would like this one as well. Maybe Zartan can come down and deal with this army. I don't know what's in this army, but I reckon Zartan can probably deal with it. Well, probably anyway. His army's not great. Let's be honest. Let's be brutally honest here. Is that just a skull crush cracker? It is just a skull cracker. Yeah, we, we probably want to get rid of that. As much as I want to like the choo choo trains, I do. I want to like them. They're not very good. I, I, I don't understand why there's absolutely no fucking difference between the demons. The skull cracker should have more like melee attack, surely, right? Because it's like the melee engine, right? And the demon tongue is the shooty one. So I feel like the stats for the, sh the shooty one should be what the stats are, and then the melee one should have more melee attack, surely. Right? Am I not... I feel like I'm going insane when I say shit like that. Because I, I feel like that's so obvious. I feel like that's the most obvious thing in the world. Right? 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 Hello. Scrag, what's up, mate? Join your war against that guy. Uh, I mean, it looks like he's about to die, so sure. Oh, fuck. Where did... Oh, that's those guys. Oh, I'm going to win anyway. Cool. 
thanks for the labor, I guess. I guess. I am going... I'm going to scooch over that way. I'm going to scooch here as well. With any luck, we can... We can bop you. Right. I've got to be honest. I think you might be about to be fired. You are. You have a metal sorcerer. Okay, what what do you have? Yeah, you've got the explosive bolts. Oh, sorry, mate. You chose poorly. I wouldn't mind a bull centaur. What have you got? Okay, you're you're in. You're in. I think otherwise, you're all fired. Can't. Okay. God damn it. Right. Okay, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're definitely fired. You're fired. You're fired. Okay. So you're still recruiting. That is fine. You are... What have you got? Uh, I mean, I guess... I guess I could use you as an agent, maybe? You're keeping an eye on that, which is fine. Okay, I think we can hop over there. Potentially. Oh, you guys are marching. Can we reach you? We can reach you. Well, it's only treason if... If, like, you know, I adhere to your laws and I don't because... I'm a fucking Chaos Dwarf, mate. Hello, me bucko. We got the Eye of Hashet. Uh, I guess we can put that on the top of my hat. Oh, mage. actually, actually, armor piercing weapon damage base. I'm going to give that to, to that guy. And more armor. I'm going to give that to those guys. Sure. Oof. I don't like the little groms. They, they really sting. But if we can kill these guys and maybe we can get to Prague. Well, even Catherine herself is here. We can kill her army. I'm really hoping they don't have too much they can throw at us. <sighs> Probably going to be wrong. Anyway, we've, we've still got a fairly strong force here. We've got multiple lines of defense. Hobgoblin sneaky gets, Chaos Dwarves, and then Hobgoblin archers behind that. We've got the got the, uh, the blood buses on the left flank. Uh, what I haven't noticed, though, is that my, my hell cannons are having a real nightmare of a time trying to pivot. Pivot! Piv no, pivot! They're just they're just spinning around trying to get through these trees and not not Pivot! Pivot! No, it's not working. Okay, well those those guys are fucking useless. Never mind. Never mind. On our right flank we have our horde of bull centaurs. Who I feel like you could probably do an entire stack of bull centaurs and do very well for yourself. So Topham Hats and Rockefeller just hanging around behind, trying to wait until so we can pick off those little groms. They're causing uh, some issues for us. We've got some Kosovite dervishes advancing on our front and the light wall sleds, sort of like just chilling. The little groms are targeting the blunderbusses. I'm assuming because they have the most damage output. And I think that's how the AI deter- No! Uh, okay, well, it's only hobgoblins. It's only hobgoblins. Ooh. 
We're swooping down to engage the Griffin Legion. And I'll be honest, our louds are much better than the Griffin Legion, so we'll be absolutely destroying them in short order. Meanwhile, the Kislev force... Kislevite force is advancing in little drips and drabs, which aren't really causing too much problems for us. I mean, it'd be causing less problems for us if our artillery wasn't still trying to get through the goddamn forest. Never mind. Moving our blunderbusses up to take out those light wall sleds. There we go. That's how you deal with wall sleds. Blunderbusses. I mean, to be fair, blunderbusses are pretty much the solution to most of Total War's problems. Ooh, the Tsar guards. Getting shot to pieces there by our hobgoblins. There. I mean, 20, 24 missile strength is not bad. I mean, for hobgoblins, they're dirt cheap. The bull centaurs are mopping up. Helped by Gore does there. Now swooping down through the trees to mop up the last of the Kislevite forces. I mean, they may have glaze. They may have anti-large. We need more than that to deal with bull centaurs as they reduce the ice guard to jam. See units starting to flee all over the place. And our forces are basically untouched. Just Catherine and a bunch of Streltz in the center. Rockefeller and Sir Topham Hat have taken out the little Groms for us. Thanks, guys. And the yeah, I think the Streltsy are even there starting to waver. Getting some shots off there, or at least trying to, as their friends are murdered over in the trees there. Ooh, and now all the artillery can focus on killing the Streltsy and Katarin. Oof. Two armies down, and I mean, Valkyria might be going for Prague. Maybe, she, maybe we can go and help her. Go and assist Valkyria in taking, because I, I don't really care about these settlements down here. So, we could just beef up the defenses. So, what do we actually need to do? Well, we need to take out this army, which we've got Zartan. Can, can you hop over there? No. Okay, in that case, you are marching down here. We can get Drongash Death De Dealer to come and help. Come, come here. Oh, good. There you go. Right, you do that. So, we'll bring you, like, over here. To grab this. We need Karakazorn, so we can fend off this attack. We can just push up there and grab that one. That'll be the two relics we need. And then Astragoth just needs to get over to here, which, you know, he's only got little robot legs. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Let's do something like this. And then I guess shoot them and get them for you. Firing drills. And car for clear sting. I mean, uh, physical resistance isn't the worst thing, but ideally I'm not going to have them in melee combat. I'll only drop them into melee combat in locations where it's very safe to do so. In which case, they shouldn't need the physical resistance. Okay, so we were going 
for the the big old gun. There we go. Get the big old gun. I'm not going to upgrade you yet. All this stuff, I'm probably going to give this to Valkyrie, to be honest. Play this game on my side, and the rewards will be considerable. Okay, cool. Volks, Graz, do you want that? You know much of demon pets, don't you? I I have dabbled, yes. We'll give that to you for the moment. And then I might expand this. Were you laying siege to something? I thought you were. But maybe I just imagined that. Looks like a couple of these settlements have been raised. I don't know who did that. Maybe Scrag? But if we can if we can take out Prague and Kislev. That would be a bit of a nail in the coffin of Kislev, I think. Or in this case, Kostalton, because apparently it's now all Greasy Hobo. Greasy Hobo people. Why are all of the religious people in Total War Greasy Hobos? Uh, I thought you were go where are you going now? An ice witch vows to no one. Uh, got yet I'll more more armies to deal with. Okay, you come down here. We'll sort of threaten you. We'll threaten you and see if we can lure you in. Where did that army go to? This makes me very suspicious. Where did you go? Alright. Alright. You come this way. We're going to guard this with you. I need... Mm. Okay. If we give you some more... Oh, God, this army's just a fucking car crash, isn't it? This army's a fucking car crash. Okay. If we give you some more blunderbusses, that's something. And then you can go up and take Karakazorn while Gorth sort of mops... Protect, protects this flank. <sighs> Lock by as a factory, I think. I'm very suspicious about where that army went to. Okay, hoppity hop. That was a mistake, maggot. I don't know who you are. I hunger to quaff every last drop of your blood. Okay, and. By the looks of your face, you're a messy eater. You're not good at quaffing, are you? Okay. Do I want... <sighs> Probably going to turn this into a factory, aren't I? All right, so let's convert that into a factory. If we get defences here, we get the big cannon, we can rush that construction, sure. Let's... Right, we want to send some caravans out. So. So. So, no. I'm trying to... Where can we send a caravan that isn't going to get immediately murdered by... This might be alright, he says. Uh, we don't have enough... How much have we got? 100. That's barely anything. That's not worth it, is it? I need, I need someone who's going to exchange money for, for people, but not in a place that's uh, there's literally nowhere. Okay, well, I guess guess we're not doing that then. I guess we're not doing that. Rock, rock, 
Casteltin, what's up, mate? You want a holy shit? You want a peace treaty? The fuck? What the fuck? Well, no, obviously not. Obviously not. Uh, uh, it looks that looks kind of annoying. I'm just going to order resolve it. I don't really like the really big battles because they're. I, I, is this just me? It just it's very hard to actually know what's going. Like it's, it's so much stuff to deal with at any one time. It feels like a lot of mental energy to deal with it. And I, just, I get to the point where I can't be asked. It's like leaving your front line to sort of like tank everything while. While um. You sort of like move the cavalry and try and get. It's, it's just, it just takes ages. It just takes ages. I kind, of, I kind of like the slightly smaller battles. That's why I quite like the convoys, because, you know, the little battles you have there are quite are quite interesting. And it's not all the time, but... And it kind of depends who you're fighting and who you're fighting with. But I do, I do f sometimes feel just a bit... Like, over, kind of overwhelmed with those big battles. There's no way in hell you can control everything at the same time, right? You'd, you'd literally go, well, I guess you've got, like, super duper APM. But I don't. So I'm constantly having to pause, and, you know, slow-mo. And so the battles just take ages. So you're looking at, like, half an hour for, for, for a fight. And if you're not particularly, you know, if you're fighting an army that... Because Kislev can be a pain in the ass to fight sometimes. Okay, this is a little bit dicey, but we're going to hop down here. Okay, I don't think you can reach me. Holy fuck! Oh god, that's that's a re oof. that's a really nasty army. Okay, well, Bloodfather told you to jump off a cliff, would you? I mean, yes is the answer. Uh, so if we hop over here, and then I mean we're getting we're getting closer, we're getting closer. That's not too bad. I just gotta be I, I gotta be careful because if there's like large or, or ogre armies wandering around, that could be problematic. I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna hop over here. We're gonna take Karakazorn so we can get that. You're staying down here in ambush stance. Zartan is continuing his march unless underway is quicker. It is not. So we'll, come, we'll, come, we'll grab the forest of fortress of Vorag, and then we'll go and beat up these guys. I do like how there's like little lizard, lizard boys down here, just minding their own business. Ah, we could always. What about allied recruitment? We could. I mean, there are exalted plague bearers there. The problem is, Nurgle's armies are only really good if you can heal them, and we can't. What about this? This is a lot of Nurgle stuff. We have a Chaos War Shrine of Nurgle. That does give heals, doesn't it? It's two turns. I feel like I. I feel like I don't have time to sit down and spend two turns to recruit. That's the only issue. Don't have time to sit around. Can't put my feet up, can I? No. I need to, oh, I need to get on with it. It's uh, crack on. What can you do? You can block. You can damage walls. Do you want to block? Did you do it? Nah, you did. Okay, we can knock this stuff down because I don't think that's going to be particularly useful. We... Ooh, what's this? Anurul's Tomb. Campaign movement range. Raw materials per turn. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Right, we want a big gun. More big... Yeah, big gun. 
some of that. Some more cash. And then we spent all the I mean I could I could go and sacrifice my interns. Get them to crunch or something. Is that what crunch is? Sacrifice. Sacrifice their sanity for money. <gasps> Holy shit it is, isn't it? Oh fuck. Uh let's go Defensive Alliance. Do I want a Defensive Alliance with you? You don't have many friends. Yeah, you don't like okay, no. No, it's not that I don't like you. It's more that I am ambivalent in regards to you. And at the same time, the people I'm trying to impress don't like you. Okay. We are a go. We're on the move. Where's where's Astragoth? There he is. It's marching quicker? Oh, we'll just hop over here. We just hop over here. We're gonna we're gonna ignore. Just keep hopping. We're not far off. We're not far off. But quite we can we can come in and help Valkyr with Kislev. No higher power than I. I imagine you've got a big garrison. Yeah, you do have a big garrison. But with both of us here, Valkyr can take Prague. Ted, Ted, what's going on, mate? What happens? What what's happening over here? What what, what what's gone wrong, Ted? You come to find a new idol, demon worshippers. Uh, no. Ted, what happened, mate? You were doing so well, and suddenly everything's on fire here. What's going on? I mean, what's Takari doing down here as well? Is is the real question? Bring your secrets into my chamber and. Do I have an outpost with you? That's... No, that's a different one. You. Oh, I don't. Um, slap one in there. I don't have an outpost on you either. Ooh. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, normally I've, I have a real problem with ogres. Give, they only tend to give you, like, the basic units. But... There's definitely... S that's not too bad. That's even better. Let's do that then. Let's do that one. You are gonna... You've been kind of left behind, mate. I might actually recruit some... I need to... I, I keep forgetting about allied units. The thing is... Because you can't upgrade them, really... They can be kind of not always super useful. Uh, we haven't really got many laborers recently, have we? So we have to be a little bit careful. Plus I'm not sending the convoys out because currently there's nowhere that bloody gives me laborers in exchange for anything well apart from apart from thingy magics right we're attacking prague and we're gonna help valkyr take it well unfortunately i'm gonna have to water resolve this one because i've i've tried to fight this battle three times and it keeps crashing so bit of a bugger but never mind the first time I did drop two eruptions and a doom of Hasha on like the, the enemy had basically clumped up into one massive big orgy ball. So I dropped a load of spells on it and I think maybe it crashed it because it was like, holy shit, that's that's basically a war crime. So I was like, okay, we won't do that. We will we'll we'll wait. So they, they spread out a little bit more the second time I tried it and it still crashed. And so the next time I didn't cast any spells and it still crashed. I was like, oh, well. I tried. I tried. What the f Oh, pig barter. Oh, yeah. Well, don't worry. I'll be, I'll be back. Hello. Do you want a trade agreement? Uh, you are a vassal of those guys. 
but I don't. I don't really. Oh God, we've got we've got shanks. Unbelievable. Right. Well, at least Prague has fallen. So. Let's see if we can take Kislev. If we can take Kislev. Bish bosh bash. Job done. Alright, let's take the Fortress of Vorag. We need to sort this little problem out. There's no green skins over there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hoppity hop. Hoppity hop up to Karak Zorn. And Astragoth is going to. We could maybe hit Karag Varg. It isn't really going to help us. But it's kind of on the way. It's on the way. Just to resolve that one because it's a boring settlement battle. Uh, if we if we occupy you as like a max level. And then, I mean, we do have a gem mine here. I don't really... I don't really need a gem mine. We can, like, do that. And then continue onwards. We go and grab Karakazorn. And you guys have wandered off. And, oh, apparently there's lizard men coming. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be lizard men coming? I think Zartan's army's probably fine. It's... Yeah, it's alright. If we go if we go into encampment stance over here. Why don't we do some recruitment here? Uh, what what could we get? We could just get some exalted plague bearers, couldn't we? Hmm. I wouldn't mind a Chaos War Shrine. Let's grab a Chaos War Shrine. And maybe some Chaos Warriors to help out. Something like that, maybe? Sure. Sure. Right, okay. We we've got we've got lots of Lots of... Oh, God. Actually, wait. That's nowhere near me, is it? Oh, thank God. Like, for a minute, I was like, oh, God, this is right in my way, isn't it? But no, Kugath is just going to have to deal with uh, a bunch of ogres. Good luck, Kugath. I'm nowhere near you, so I cannot assist. Meanwhile, we're heading towards the last objective. We've got Karakazorn down here. We need to kill these little boys over here. And then we're going to have to fight the final battle. And then after that, we're going to have to pick a new campaign. So the poll for next time is going to be what faction should that new supporter campaign take place at what what sentence was i trying to construct there what what faction should we play and then we'll decide on the legendary lord later right what faction should we play and then we'll decide that will decide what unless there's only one you know if you pick like demons of chaos there's only one so realistically you'd have one choice so that won't really be a poll but i'll do it anyway because i'm just that bloody minded I'll have to wait until next time, though. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.